Hey what up people how's it going this is Barke welcome back to another video on Flutter on Flutter in 3 minutes to be exact I, I'm, I wanted to bring back this series for a very long time and this is a perfect time to bring it back because I'm going to be doing this Flutter in 3 minutes widget series every Sunday so stay tuned for that uh, what the Flutter in 3 minutes widget series is going to do is we're going to learn about a simple widget in just under 3 minutes I'm going to make sure that it is contained under 3 minutes and so for this video's context we're going to be talking about the rich text widget so let's not waste any time and let's get this thing started Alright, so I have my application ready right now. It's done. So uh, what is going to run is going to run a simple thing like this. It's going to have the sample as the usual text where you put everything in the scaffold. I hope you guys know all of that. So what rich, rich text is going to do is it's going to give us this uh, ability to write just one pair of text, but at the same time have multiple different variations for every single word on the text. So for example, let's let's make this instead of a text as rich text, and we can see how different it's going to act. So what rich text does is that it's going to mimic the span of an element like span element in your uh, HTML widgets. So for example, if you have a text and you put a span in between those uh, happy or H tag, we can actually change the value or property of the specific word alone. So that's what this is going to do. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to do hello first and uh, let me put us hello and uh, what I can do is I can put no, I have to put in the text. You can put a something called as a text span and text pan it takes as the first text which is going to be the hello for us and we can actually give it any style we want to give i'm going to give us a text style as uh, this entire thing is going to be text style of uh, let's have a font size as 30 and color is going to be color start black so we have this now what up what about the other words in the same text we can still have this under this children attribute which is going to take this text span again, which is going to be a list of texts that can have be in the same line. I'm going to give the text span again. We can have it just like, let's say, hello coder monk. No, let's have coder as the first word and we can give it another cuff style, which could be as like a color or something like that. So I have it text style as color, colors dot blue and this is going to be one and you can give another word as well so everything is going to be in a single line so that's what we have to do give another text let's call it uh, monk and we can give the style as whatever i want to give a style so i'll give text style as color and dot color start black again but this time i'm going to have the font weight as bold or font weight That's it. So we have done that. What we have done is given a word, three simple different words are having different spans and we can adjust the text style through that. So when you run, you have actually saved it. So it must be running by itself. Come here. We have got what we wanted to get. So we have hello coder monk. So that's how simple the rich text widget is. We can replace this at any point in our application. We don't, we, we may not find use for this exactly in a mobile application, but it's going to be very, very useful when you're doing the same in your website and that's the main reason why we learned about the rich text widget so that's it for the three minutes let me meet you in the next video if you like this video you know what to do smash the like and subscribe button until then it's worth peace out have a super awesome day